let's go. It is Drew with Trust the Process. I want to make a point here. I, I want to. I want to just say that, that there is not one damn person on this planet that is better than you. Not one damn person on this planet is better than you. We're unique. We're different. We're individuals. But there is nobody that's better than you. There's nobody better than me. And I'm not saying that in a way in which I'm trying to come across as like cocky or conceited or anything like that. Because it's not about me being better than anyone else or you being better than anyone else. It's about the thought that nobody is better than you. And the sooner you can stop comparing yourself to somebody else, the sooner you can stop looking at somebody's Instagram post or their Facebook page or their LinkedIn account and saying, man, like this person's better than me. Like, no, there's nobody better than you. They might be at a different point in their life, but there ain't nobody better than you. Some people are really good at putting on a front. Some people might look at certain videos that I post, and if that's all they got was that snippet of Drew from that two-minute video I put out that one time, and that's all they saw, they might go, man, like this guy's got it all. Maybe they should watch the next video, or maybe they should see me whenever I hit stop record button, and I'm breaking down and I'm losing my mind because sometimes I struggle like that. I got hard days. I got rough days sometimes. Sometimes I get triggered. Sometimes I compare myself to other people. Sometimes I have to stop and remind myself that there is nobody on this planet that is better than me. And that I've got to stop. You've got to stop. We've all got to stop accepting these things in this world that we deserve better. You deserve better. But it starts from within, and it starts from the understanding that nobody is better than you. We're all unique. We're all individuals. We all bring something to the table. Embrace it. A lot of people put on that mask, and they try to put on a front so that they can fit in with everybody else. And then when they're doing that, they lose themselves. They lose who they are and what is so unique about them. Be unique. Some people might look at me sideways in, in the way that I raise my kids, but I want my kids to be unique. I want them to be different. I don't want them to blend in with everybody else. They get a job in corporate America, then, hey, maybe they got to fit in with everybody else. I've had to tone myself down. And sometimes I beat myself up for it and say, you know what? Let's just put the blonde patch back in the air and let's just roll. And let's not worry about what anybody thinks. Because that's you, Drew. You're a little extra. But sometimes you got to embrace what it is about you that separates you from everybody else. Most of that comes from fear. You know, I, I really wanted to make a video for the last couple of days talking about this quote that is just kind of just stuck with me. And it's a quote that says that many of our problems and most of our problems are caused from reacting without thinking or from thinking and not acting. And I struggled with it because I do both, right? When I'm angry and I'm upset, I react without thinking. And when I'm nervous and scared, then I think and I don't act. And I think about fear and I think about another line that I heard. I heard it in a movie like 15 years ago and it's stuck with me ever since. And the guy is asking this guy, he's, he's a philosopher and he's, he's in this deep conversation with him and he says, with everything that we've had, the advancements in technology throughout the, uh, let's just say millions of years, if you want to believe that, I'll leave the tinfoil hat off to the side here for this one, but, but over millions of years, right, the, the, the technology and the advances that we've had throughout our civilizations, why is it that, that right now we live in a society where really, I mean, if you look at what most people do, I mean, why, why with everything that we have at our fingertips, why would anybody work, you know, doing half the jobs that people do today? And you look back at like ancient Egypt and, and, and the lack of technology they had back then and the things that they were able to do, the advancements they were able to make, like, well, what is it? Is it that, that people are lazy or is it that people are scared? And you could go back, as he said, to what is the oldest human trait. Laziness or fear. It's fear. 
Why do you think fear is used so heavily to control us? Why do you think every time you flip on the news, you're bombarded with nonsense? They're trying to scare us. And the more scared we are, the more we're held back, and the more we don't go for the things we want to go for. Fear is a mechanism that's ingrained in our DNA. It's in our brain. It's there as a protection device. It's there to stop us from getting hurt. Don't get embarrassed, Drew. Don't stand up. Don't say anything. Somebody might look at you sideways. Don't wear that outfit to work today because somebody's going to look at you funny. Don't say this. Don't do that. Don't ask her this. Don't go for that promotion. I'm not, I mean, I can be lazy. Trust me. I can be lazy. But laziness is not what has ever stopped me from getting to where I want to go in this world. It's been fear. And so when it's anger, then that's when I need to pump the brakes, right? Back off, maybe not react so fast. When it's fear or nervousness, that's whenever I need to just slam on the gas pedal and just bust through the wall. But it all starts with how we look at ourselves and what we expect from ourselves and what we expect from other people in this world and the understanding that there is nobody better than you. Don't believe the hype. There ain't nobody better than you. I don't care what their Instagram page or Facebook page looks like. Nobody's better than you. So I'm gonna keep grinding. I'm gonna keep moving forward. I will always trust the process and I will talk to y'all later.